Welcome to another beautiful morning out here at the River House. Um, once again, not gotten to editing any videos, so here's a quick snapshot of what we're doing and uh, yet another empty promise of what's to come. First, you might notice there's one less tree behind me. So this was that giant pine and it had a double top. When it comes to ponderosa pines, double top is not if that thing comes down, merely when. And the wind pattern was pushing it directly into So it hurt my feelings a little bit, but she came down. Shay and I got the pocket truck out. We, we limbed her up to lighten the load and that's not mine. Just want to point that out. Stuff the kid picked up in the ditch. Uh, lightened the load and then we dropped her. Broke her right in half when it hit the ground. But there's no real bluing in this of any kind. So this will become siding. It's not pretty, so it's going to be siding. And I need an awful lot of that. So on today's agenda, buck this up because the bucket truck's trapped and I can't get through anymore. And there's a bunch of logs over there that need to be cut. We'll get those, get it, get the uh, the big baby girl excavator if she'll fire up for the first time after the winter, and I'll get all stacked over there. Now over here is the next thing we got done. I'm quite proud of it. After over a year, the rock grotto is back. Ooh, hear that echo? And we have the pine. I don't know, I guess you call this fascia? I'm not entirely sure, but you, you got the pine up here. Uh, got one of the windows in, got the scaffolding out of the way. I know that looks like hell. I built it with pieces I inherited in buckets from my grandfather, my father, my father-in-law, my father-in-law's friend. It cost me nothing. That one right there is the drain pan for the washing machine. And I simply could not have bright, cold, wintry air sucked up through there, like when the bathroom fans are on or whatnot, and dousing the underside of the washing machine. That would be straight, because that, that one comes straight down. That, that would be straight minus 30 degree air. And so that just couldn't happen. This one over here, this one's got quite a long run. This is the and drain pan for the hot water heater. It's got quite a long run and it comes up under a giant hot thing. So um I'm I'm not I'm not quite as worried about about that one. Uh, it it's it's gonna be okay. You're, there's no way you're gonna freeze a hot water heater. Unless unless a whole bunch of people tell me it will freeze a hot water heater, in which case I'll add one of them Franken P traps up there. It does mean uh, I'm going to have to, you know, dump two cups of antifreeze or, uh, you know, pour RV antifreeze in there till she dribbles out. Either way, it's going to be fine. Did I mention I got a window in? One more, hopefully be prepped for today. And then, because I can't remember if I showed it, let's go inside. Inside, nothing ever really seems to change except the level of mess. Uh, I did get, and I think I put a little short video on that, I did get the missing kitchen window, and it came with the bottom flange broken. Sure, I could ask for a new one, if I'd like to put it in in September. So, my guess is I simply keep my mouth shut. There is the stack of blue pine that did not go up into the ceiling. Um, we used... Oh, about half of it. Once it became clear that we'd have so much left over, we started to sort the bluest stuff and set it aside. This will have to get packed upstairs and put somewhere. It'll have to get packed upstairs and put in my way in a different spot because it's too in my way right here to run the plumbing. And the plumbing has, has definitely started. I got hot water runs. Nothing's terminated, right? But they go up for the hot water heater right there. And so this is, this three quarter is going to run 
everything in this bathroom and that three quarter runs everything in that bathroom. We still need to bring a line down through this really crowded spot. It'll come down right there. Oh, that three quarter there is going to run everything in this bathroom. It needs to get one that comes down and goes to run the stuff in the kitchen. And then I need to get one up there that runs all the other three quarters. I'll find a space. I'll find a space. But uh, that's good and started. One other thing I need to do still, and um, the original plan was to put it underneath all that wood. And then I forgot. I got to get gas lines in. Here's where the hot water heater went. Just ignore the fact that one is tipped a little bit it's fine i gotta get gas lines to this corner right here and that corner back there and that one the easiest would have been to run through that ceiling but that ceiling is up so this is the um this will be a hot water heater so i'm thinking we actually have chase runs that that came up through here to do different things that didn't end up done, so I'm thinking I'll I'll take that hot the, that gas line and I'll run it across, and then I'll have to simply navigate that corner. And then uh, we have the double stud bay, so I can pull this insulation out. We were going with this this PEX gas line. Um, at the time we got it, it was really cheap for the long run we were doing, where it would, it's actually out there and, and buried. Um, I'm having a little trouble getting, getting the indoor side of it. So um, I think once again, we're simply going to go old school and I'm going to do soft copper, 3.8 soft copper. And we'll just, rather than try to run a single line in manifolding, I'll just have two 3-8 soft copper lines and they'll go down into the basement where I'll run black iron. And um, we're just, you know, just gonna do it the tried and true way. I can still get, it's expensive, but I, I can get the fittings and the spools of, of soft copper. 3 8 should be more than enough to run the dryer and more than enough to run the hot water heater, even on anybody's propane calculator things. Um, might not be enough to run the furnace, but I, I'll just run half to that. And then the black iron, I'll run one inch. And we have one, uh, one more, one more gas line that's gotta go down, down there somewhere. To run the the propane stove you know it propane is considerably cheaper where i live considerably cheaper than electricity but really only if you combine all of it and of course your hot water heater and your furnace are the two biggest hogs so that's where i'll get my most gain uh, other than that you know gas dryer it's nice it only, it only uses as much as you use uh, laundry. And as a family of three, God, this house is too big for a family of three. I hope my investment was worth it. Um, we, we wouldn't actually run it that much. So yeah, that's, that's your update. A um, couple of things that gotta get ripped out, a couple of things that are put in wrong, but not wrong enough to worry about. So I'd say we're still doing fine. Big expenses coming up. I need doors. I need to put doors on the outside. And that French door alone. Mom and Dad had a used set in the barn from some dismantling somewhere. And the hole's the wrong size for them. I think it's a five foot. This is a five foot opening and those were six. I don't know. At this point, I'll be looking into cutting the doors down. Good Lord. Uh, you know, we don't often talk about the financial side other than point out that I ain't got any. Uh, this, this ate a lot more 
Some of it's my own ignorance. Some of it is supply chain. Some of it's COVID. Some of it's building demand. But yeah, the, the nest egg's sort of gone. Um, I got I got certain benchmarks and we've achieved them. It's got a roof on it. It's dried in completely. Um, you know, we got we got things like the furnace that are going to be considerably harder to get here soon. So they're in place. Don't have any appliances. I have a fridge. I have a fridge uh, for it. But anyways, it's definitely coming along. I got a lot of videos that someday, someday I'll edit up. Pulling rocks, falling trees, um, doing plumbing. But it's just sort of head down, ass up right now. Thanks for watching.